in the dimly lit room, adorned with flickering candlelight and the scent of fragrant flowers, a stoner woman named Lily prepared for her wedding day. Her heart pounded with a mix of excitement and nervousness as she donned her elegant white gown, the satin fabric flowing gracefully around her. The air crackled with anticipation, as if the room held its breath, aware of the momentous occasion about to unfold. Lily's friends buzzed around her, offering words of encouragement and helping with the final touches. As they carefully fastened her veil, a sense of foreboding began to creep into the air, a subtle shift that sent a chill down Lily's spine. The wedding ceremony commenced, and Lily, accompanied by her father, walked down the aisle toward her soon, to be husband, Ethan. Her gaze locked with his, and a mix of love and anxiety flickered in their eyes. Ethan, handsome and charismatic, smiled warmly, the perfect picture of a loving partner. As the vows were exchanged and the rings were placed upon their fingers, a hushed tension permeated the room. Lily couldn't shake the feeling that something was amiss, that beneath Ethan's charming facade, darkness lurked. The reception hall was filled with laughter and merriment as the guests celebrated the newlywed couple. Yet, as the night progressed, a disquieting energy settled over the room, casting a shadow on the joyous occasion. Lily couldn't help but notice the subtle changes in Ethan's demeanor. His smiles became more sinister. His eyes flickered with an unsettling intensity. Lily's best friend, Sarah, approached her. Concern etched across her face. Lily, have you noticed how strange Ethan's been acting? Sarah whispered, her voice laden with worry. He seems different somehow. Lily nodded, her heart pounding with a mixture of fear and disbelief. I've noticed it too, Sarah, she replied, her voice barely above a whisper. But it's our wedding day. How could anything go so wrong? As the night wore on, Ethan's behavior grew increasingly unsettling. He would disappear into the shadows for moments at a time, only to return with an unnerving smirk etched upon his face. Whispers echoed through the hall. Guests, exchanging worried glances, sensing an otherworldly presence lurking within their midst. In a moment of desperation, Lily decided to confront Ethan, to seek the truth behind his eerie transformation. She found him alone in a dimly lit corner, his back turned to her. The air grew heavy with tension as she approached him, her voice trembling. Ethan, what's happening to you? Lily's voice quivered her eyes searching his face for any sign of the man she had fallen in love with. Why do you seem so different? Please, tell me. Ethan turned slowly, his eyes burning with an otherworldly glow. The room seemed to darken around him, the air thick with an aura of malevolence. A chilling smile crept across his lips as he spoke, his voice layered with an unnerving echo. My Dear Lily, he hissed, the words laced with a haunting familiarity. You were always so trusting, so vulnerable. It was too tempting for me to resist. I am no longer the man you thought you knew. I am an incubus, a creature of the night, and I feed on the desires and life force of unsuspecting souls. Lily's heart raced, fear gripping her every fiber. She backed away, her mind struggling to comprehend the nightmare unfolding before her. She desperately sought a means of escape, a way to break free from the clutches of this demonic entity, posing as her husband. Suddenly, Sarah burst into the room, brandishing a spray bottle. She shot a jet of water at Ethan, the liquid hissing as it made contact with his ethereal form. Startled, Ethan recoiled, his true nature momentarily revealed. Back off, you demon, Sarah shouted, her voice resolute and filled with defiance. I've heard enough cheesy pickup lines to know an incubus when I see one. Ethan snarled, 
his form contorting with rage. You can't protect her forever, he growled, his voice dripping with malice. Her soul will be mine. But Lily, finding strength in the face of adversity, reclaimed her power. She grabbed a nearby bowl of holy water, flinging it in Ethan's direction. The water burned his spectral flesh, causing him to howl in pain and recoil, in pain and recoil. The room erupted into chaos as guests, now aware of the supernatural threat, rallied to Lily's aid. They armed themselves with makeshift weapons and performed ancient rituals, banishing the malevolent presence that had infiltrated their celebration. In the midst of the battle, a strange mix of comedy and suspense emerged. Guests cracked jokes and delivered witty one. Liners, their humor mingling with the adrenaline, fueled tension. Laughter echoed through the hall, defying the darkness that threatened to consume them. As the final blow was struck, Ethan let out a tormented scream, his ethereal form dissipating into the night. The room fell silent, save for the panting breaths of those who had fought to protect Lily. Lily, her heart still racing, turned to Sarah, gratitude shining in her eyes. Thank you, Sarah, she whispered, her voice filled with awe and relief. I don't know what I would have done without you. Sarah smiled, her eyes sparkling with camaraderie. Hey, that's what best friends are for, right? She quipped, injecting a touch of comedy into the moment. Now, let's go back to enjoying your wedding, minus the supernatural drama, of course. And so, with a newfound resilience and a bond forged through the crucible of darkness, Lily and her guests reclaimed their celebration. Laughter and joy once again filled the air, the memory of the incubus serving as a reminder of their strength and the triumph of love over malevolence.